Hi everybody, in this video we're going to do something a little different. We're going to make a game sort of like Extreme Motorbikes from the Google Play Store. So a viewer wanted me to make or recreate this game. So this is what we're going to do is this Extreme Motorbikes game. I'm going to show you how you can make something similar to this. So I am going to use some assets from the Unity Asset Store to recreate this. I'm going to use this Brat Asset, this Futuristic Soldier for the, you know, the, the bike rider. And then this I'm going to use just to paint the scene real quick or the texture of the terrain. So let's just get started. This is going to be a couple videos. So this is going to be the first video. So we won't get everything done today, but we're going to try to get as much as we can in about 10 to 15 minutes. So let's just get started. We're first going to add a terrain. So 3D object terrain. We get this terrain. Now we're going to go to this little tab over here. Go to paint texture, edit terrain layers, and then create a layer. I'm going to use that ground texture that I imported. Let's close it. And now we got this ground. And now I'm going to make it, I'm going to add a normal map to it. I'm going to click on the actual texture, click on this one and add my normal map. Now, if you haven't seen how I do my normal maps, so I'll just duplicate this, rename it to something like normal map. And then uh, let me just drag this in. Now it's not going to exactly work as we want yet, but we're going to click on this normal map, go to texture type, put normal map put create from grayscale and then just hit apply. So now as you can see, it completely changed. And now we got this normal map. I go to the terrain and I go over here to just drag this back in. There you go. Now I could change the scale of this to how I would like. I'll just leave it like that for now. And this is our terrain. So now we're going to add our bike and our soldier or our bike rider. So let's just move over here to the kind of the edge of the map and we'll add our bike we'll go to prefab go to set and then there's one with uh, the kickstand down and one with it up we're going to use the one with it up we're just going to drag this in drag it up a little bit and that should be good oh, just a little bit more now we want this to actually face the opposite way and change this to 1920 by 1080 now we want that to face the opposite way so what we're going to do is we're not just going to rotate this right here which we could but instead what we're going to do is we're going to grab everything rotate it now we got our bike if we go to our game scene we can see the bike right there we're actually going to parent the main camera to the bike and zero the x and the y and the z so now with that right there we'll move him back move the camera up and then you could place it how you would like your camera i'll probably just place it somewhere around maybe here maybe add 15 degrees to it so it's kind of looking down sort of like that and now we're going to add our actual character so we're going to go to the futuristic futuristic soldier we're going to go to our prefab we're going to pick the one that we want i think i'm going to go i'll drag him in and now he's right there so this is kind of like where the tricky part would come in Okay, so the way we're going to get him to sit is we're actually going to go on maximum. So if we go over here, I already got maximum up. If And I got a, it downloaded already or uploaded the character. All you would have to do is push upload character. Go to your maximum. Go to the mesh folder and drag your mesh in. Let it load and process. And then once that is done, you will be able to find a sitting animation. So just hit that next button and look for a sitting animation. Now the one I used, I think it was this one right here. All you have to do is you just have to change the character arm space depending on how you want. And then you would hit download. Go to FBX for Unity with with the skin because you want the whole model. And then hit download. Then just drag your downloaded model onto your, your, your game. So I actually have to download this and I'll show you guys. So now with that downloaded, I'm going to bring him in. Go over here. Drag him in. Now we got this sitting one. So we'll remove this guy. And add the sitting one as you can see he's sitting down but he does not have any material for that we just go to our um, materials folder and add the material we would like this one right here and we'll just move this guy to be sitting down where we would like right about there okay now to fix this feet problem where his feet aren't actually lining up and stuff like that you would actually have to go to his root and with the root open just scroll down to that's actually thigh so let's start with the left thigh you would kind of have to move this around i think i went too far there so just move this around right here move that rotation somewhere like that about there uh, yeah, it'll be it'll take it's gonna take a little bit just to tweak these values. So just 
have patience and let's say you can't exactly get it to how you would like just keep going down on the on the hierarchy so start with the parent and go down to the child and as you can see you can start moving these values as well and if that don't work just start all over maybe we could start with the feet first maybe something like that for the the left one and then just copy the same thing for the right one you won't be able to copy the same values but just do the same thing you did and it should work for you and this one maybe something like this it's not perfect but it looks okay i actually turn his something like that so we'll go in the game it's not perfect but it's all right and i just noticed that he's actually a little off the seat so that's that's a little better the legs look okay still so yeah, that would work. Same thing with the hands. You would just go to your hands. So close all these, go to the shoulder, go to your arm. I guess the best way would be to start maybe with the children. And then you could always move this arm. It looks a little weird when you're stretching it, but just to kind of position it somewhere towards the handlebar. And then later on, you could try and fix that. So you could try to fix that stretching. So go up a little bit, somewhere around there. So now there is, well, there's a lot of stretching right there. Let me fix that. Next, grab this one and this one. So something like that. So right there, it looks like he's actually holding it. And then you would be able to do the same thing for this one. So if you go to the other arm, go to his forearm, you can stretch this one out a bit. Now this is not really ideal, but this is we what we got when we're not actually you know making our own characters ourselves is that we kind of have to work with what we got right now we're gonna have to stretch this guy out a little bit okay so that's pretty much how i'm gonna leave it just like that and we'll go back to our game and fix our camera real quick back with this guy right about there maybe there we'll pick him up a bit a little more back and I think that'll be it. Let me see how much time we got left. Okay, so this is probably gonna be the 10, 15 minutes already. In the next video, we're gonna start adding our UI buttons. So let me go back. We're gonna start adding, we're gonna add these buttons right here, like our turn directions, our, our time scale, our music. I do not know what this button is. So if anybody knows what this button is right here, let me know in the comments below, cause I got no clue what it was. I downloaded the game and I still don't know what it is. So just let me know in the comments below. I, we're gonna add all these, this money icon, the stoppy break, all that stuff. And then maybe we'll make one of them work in the next episode. And then the episode following that, we'll start making these buttons actually work and probably add this speedometer as well. So if you guys enjoy this video or you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. It'll help me it'll help me know if you guys are actually enjoying the videos or if I should actually do something else also hit that subscribe button if you want to continue to see these videos or see any other videos like this I am also making a GTA stop like series leave a comment below if you want to see something next on that as well and once again thank you guys